Alright, we're gonna run through some safety precautions. I mean, first off, you always want to wear safety glasses. That way nothing gets into your eyes. You want to hold everything with that strong grip. That way nothing gets away from you. And you want to keep a 4 inch distance from you and the machine blade or sander. And finally, just make sure that you're using all the tools properly and be careful. Alright then, start off by making a uh, piece of wood 8 and 1 fourth inches long and 3 and a half inches wide. Next, make a crosshair at uh, 1 and 3 fourths inches uh, across and 6 and 5 eighths inches. Okay, now you want to make this crosshair at the opposite end of where you'll be making your 40 degree cut. Okay. Alright, so first you guys are going to want to make sure that you have approved safety goggles on. And right now we're going to be making our straight cut, um, cross cut on this board. So you're going to make sure that um, you're pressing against the fence and down on the table. And make sure, just check before, that your blade is going to be centered right on that line. After this, make sure your fingers are four inches away. Bring the blade down. Alright, so we're going to be cutting a 45 degree angle right now. So right here, this is your, come down here. Right here, this is your, uh, your angle gauge. So you're going to press down right here. And then you're going to turn it. So uh, this red notch is pointing at the 45 degree angle. All right, now the table will lock in place. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this, this clamp here, so that I don't have to keep, I don't have to keep my fingers uh, within four inches. So I'm going to tighten this clamp down. And maybe you guys can see right here there's a laser that I'm seeing that my 45 degree angle is going to be right there. So I'm going to bring down the blade just to check real quick. All right, so that's going to be a good cut. So I'm going to press against the blit, against the fence, and down on the table, and go ahead and do my cut. So now that that is finished, I'm going to take the clamp off. And then we're going to go over to the drill press station. All right, this is Chase here, and we're over with the drill press. And so you want to make sure that you have the right safety goggles on because you don't want stuff flying off and hitting your eyes or killing you. <laughs> and so you want to tighten up the chuck with the chuck key make sure that's nice and snug so it doesn't fly off. And then you want to make sure this is out of the way and you're not still in there or else this will get, you'll break off the chain and spin it around and kill someone. <laughs> and then, um, so you want to make sure you set the depth stop. So you want to go down so it's touching the bottom board. And then once you get there, you want to bring down this until it's touching right here on the depth stop. So it doesn't go any deeper into the, into the table of the drill press. All right, so now we've got it set. We're going to center this guy. Alright, right there. Bring down the clamp. And then if you're holding it, you want to make sure that your fingers are at least four inches away. And then if you can't get within, if you can't get within four inches, then you have to use a clamp. Alright, so we're going to start it up. Alright, and you want to bring it down nice and slow. Make sure it's at full speed before you bring it into the wood. You can back it out if you need to so the oil and go back in. Alright, now 
make sure it punctures. So you're gonna wait to make sure it punctures through. I can't tell if it has. Yeah, keep going a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go through, and once it makes a little hole through the other side, we're gonna flip it over and drill through there. So it doesn't split the wood. Yeah, you're good. Alright, so, right. so now that we flipped the wood over, so, we have the little point, the pole to come through. We're going to bring it down, make sure it's centered here. Alright. We're going to start up the machine. And once again, just bring it in nice and slow. Alright. Well, you always want to make sure that the machine is off before you move anything on here. Alright, you see. Now we have the nice hole right there. Okay, now we're going to sand the wood. And how we're going to do this is, but first we need to have our safety glasses on. But first we're going to turn on the machine. We're going to turn it on kind of low, so let's start at about 20. And now we are, and it has to be one eighth of an inch. Okay? So now, and now I'm gonna let it through. sanding the wood. Uh, so we're going to come over to the belt sander here. Uh, we're going to make sure the vent is open so that all the sawdust will go up and out into the back. Um, this will be in all the machines. Uh, yeah. Run on the machine. Uh, and uh, make sure you have your safety glasses on before you start. Uh, so we're going to sand each side of the wood so that it's nice and flat. Especially careful on this edge so you don't break it off because that will unbalance the um, magic bottle holder. Alright, so we're going to be sanding a little bit. There's not really any safety precautions for this. Just be sure to wear safety goggles just in case. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're kind of going to want to feel for any lines or rough spots that the rough sander did not use. And you're going to try to use a rotary motion to get all those spots out. Just like this. Now you're going to want to do your inside edge, so kind of do go like that. And make sure this edge here isn't very, very sharp. <laughs> Alright. Okay, so you need your, make sure you have your safety glasses on. And we're going to stain this with some vegetable oil here. Oh gosh. 
kill me. <gasps> okay. <laughs> so, you wanna get on there? You just wanna rub it in a circular motion, just little circles. I'll make sure you get all the surfaces here. So the purpose of doing the staining here is to seal off all these little cracks right here and it also makes it look a bit nicer, it makes it shinier and it just adds, um, it makes it a little bit darker. And so now we're going to do a second coat and Justin's going to do that. Alright then. So this is the magic bottle holder working. Yeah.